And today was a just a unique opportunity to record one of the finest violins ever made. Uh, this is a golden period Stradivarius, um, dating from around the 1700s. It's an amazing violin, and I was given the opportunity to record from very highest fidelity violin to the very low fidelity microphones straight to vinyl for my debut record. I'm able to get a world premiere recording by Nicholas Lloyd Webber, uh, especially for the day, which was really exciting. And for me, it was a very stressful but very enjoyable day because obviously in modern times, we're so used to just cutting together a load of performances and making it sound absolutely perfect. And to have to record 12 minutes worth of music, theoretically without making mistakes, was quite a daunting task. Hi, I'm Nick Lloyd Webber and I'm here today because uh, Jonathan Hill has been playing uh, a specially commissioned piece, a Stradivarius that he's been loaned at uh, Mark Ronson's studio, Gearbox at Tarryard. The piece is called As I Sat Down by a Lake and actually that's where I was, I sat down and I had a little, little think about a tune and as I was looking out uh, I saw all these various bits of wildlife doing their little thing and so their little fragments of melodies that change depending on what I was looking at at the time. And then he came into my studio with the instrument, he just picked it up and um, he played it for me there and then and we had a little little fiddle around with it just to make it sort of work um, uh, for him and for the instrument and next thing I know here I am watching him play it straight to vinyl which is a real treat, a real treat actually, um, and he played it beautifully, obviously, he always does. <laughs> 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 Today we have uh, just finished recording uh, four fantastic pieces of music at uh, Mark Ronson's studio next door, which is connected to our mastering and cutting suite here at Gearbox Records in Tarleyard in London. Amazing. We cut direct to disc, so no errors, it had to be played faultlessly from the first off, and uh, of course we used the great Stradivarius uh, from the Stradivarius Golden Period, very valuable piece of equipment. So, I'll give you a little tour of the studio. Um, Gearbox Records is a record label, but we also have our own production facility, which is where you are now. Um, starting here with a modern Masalek <coughs> um, mastering console, which is arguably one of the best modern consoles. Um, then, over here, we've got a one-off X Decker um, mastering console, or valve which we use a lot in conjunction with that as well. Um, underneath is a um, Telefunken, um, by the way this is from the 60s, this is also from the 60s, this is a Telefunken um, all valve uh, compressor limiter. This is also a Telefunken um, all valve uh, mixing desk, it was six channels into mono, uh, but we've um, altered it so that it goes into stereo, four channels into stereo. We use this actually mainly to be able to mix off tape, straight from tape over here. We've got a tape machine that's a half inch and does both three and four track recordings. So if we have um, a three or four track recording on half inch, which unbelievably do exist, built for the quadraphonic era, we can mix them straight through that mixing desk and master um, at the same time. And then over here, um, we have the um, cutting lathe, so this is uh, where we cut the master lacquers for making vinyl. These master lacquers are then sent to a um, pressing plant we use Optimal mostly in um, Germany. And these are all the uh, cutting amplifiers uh, which send the signal onto the disc. 
Nothing in here is built to a price for mass production and that's the whole game of getting the best sound possible. And I only have this violin for a short amount of time as well, so getting used to something this special and learning, because you have to learn about these instruments, learn how they produce the sound, uh, was quite a prospect, but I'm very, very happy with, with how things went today. <laughs>